Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be going back to the Final Fantasy 16 Vision World and getting a rank 1 clear on turn 1. So for, this is for those of you that just don't want to deal with the fight, you want to get in here and get a turn 1 rank 1. Um, that being said, you do need some decent units, but they lower the damage cap to only 12.5, so it's pretty simple to do. So what we're going to be doing for this, we're going to use Zahn to break with Innervating Eclipse. We're going to Full Moon Phase for the Amplify and Fear of Darkness for the Imperil. Uh, we're going to be doing the Shifted LB of Celeste and then the LB of Fundamental. Um, we're going to be doing Lulu with Quad Casting. We're going to do, in this order, Drown in Darkness, Bewitching Smile, it seems you need my magic, and then Triple Darka, the Chaos Wave Awakened version. Uh, Ethne will quad cast. She's going to do Spirit Killer with Devouring Spirits. Um, and then we're going to do Triple Absolute Mirror of Equity. Uh, and we're getting Beast Killer from Lulu. Then Clive will do... I will not let you stand in my way, Gouge and Rook's Gambit. And the reason this is going to work is because uh, we're going to be getting the hit count score with uh, Ethne and Clive multicasting. I'm sorry, the weakness score. The hit count will be all the chaining. And we're going to use Lulu and we're going to weave in her Chaos Wave Awakening to get that 100 count chain score. So what we're going to do, we're going to click Lulu, wait, wait, click the other two, wait, wait, and then click the Extreme Nova Chainers. And that should be over a 100 count chain score and over 12.5 billion damage. Um, a little bit tricky to do it that way, but it's a turn one OTK. Perfect score. And 13.6. So there we go. So I'll go ahead and show you the gear we used. Uh, Zahn, literally naked. Lulu, just a little bit of mana reduction. Other than that, whatever. Uh, Winged Officer Celeste is using Beast and Fairy Killer. There is the setup. Ethne is using Beast and Fairy Killer as well. There's her setup. Clive is actually using a double-handed dagger for the 50% weapon in peril from Zahn, because we're not having time to do a sword in peril. Other than that, maxed out Beast and Fairy Killer. And then Fundamental, Maxed Out Beast and Fairy Killer. And there's our Turn 1, Rank 1. You know, not overkilled by a ton, but it was it was cleared on the first turn. So there we go. And Damage Breakdown is right there. So Fundamental did the most, Clive uh, did second best, and then Celeste and Ethany are just here for a little bit of extra damage and chain score, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Athlete's actually for the fairy killer as well. Anyway, see you in a bit.